This is the Molus X60 RGB light from Zion. Pretty sick. Now, what's really cool about this light is the form factor. Look at the way it looks. It looks like a camera, like the lens right here. This is the light. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Now, honestly, I feel like this is a really, really cool design because it changes the way you think about portable lights. This is different. This is the size of a portable light that adds the ability to have diffusion filters like this default cup or a softbox that they also sent me that we'll take a look at later. But this is crazy. Like, I feel like a photographer holding this, like... At the full 100% 60 watts, we're gaining 15 minutes of runtime. At a 40 watt usage, around 67% intensity, we're getting an hour and 12. And then around 33%, we're getting about two hours and 10 minutes of runtime with this light. Of course, with something like this, I feel like running it at full power would probably be ideal. So we're probably gonna get around an hour or so of runtime. Um, we're getting full RGB capabilities. We're getting effects out of this. We're getting things like fireworks, disco, the typical police car stuff. You know, the, 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 the stuff that comes with lights. It comes compatible with Bowen's mount filters. That's gonna be something I'm gonna look into. All this for the price of $200. So we're getting a 60 watt light portable with a battery grip for $200. Worth it? Not? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let's keep going. Pretty much what you're getting is a really big fan in the back here. And then the output light, of course. You get uh, two knobs on the back with this mini screen for all the details and whatnot. Um, and then, of course, you have the battery pack attachment and you're able to attach um, mini Bowens style mount diffusers on here. I have not tested it with anything else because I do not have a mini Bowens mount diffuser besides the one that they've given me, which actually works really amazing. It's, it's pretty cool and it's very fast when it comes to the setup and the breakdown. Super simple, doesn't take too much. Now I've been using this light on and off for about two weeks now on some shoots that I probably can and you know, avoid it on shoots that I probably shouldn't bring it. But the output on it is absolutely insane. I haven't played around too much in using color with it, but just using it as kind of a key or a fill light. Now it's advertised as a fill light, but with the output, depending on how you're shooting, I really honestly feel like it can be a key light. And it does match up with things like the Aperture 60X and 60D, which I do have. And honestly, it's kind of insane how well it matches up with it, even being the size that it is, because it is such a tiny, tiny product. And to be able to output a lot of power is actually insane. So 5%, look at that fill. That's a pretty good fill there. We can use it as a, as a hair light too, jeez. That actually looks really good. That looks really good from what I can see on my tiny monitor. That looks really good. Oh, this is actually really, really nice because I'm so used to using lights that require you to have a stand and, and all that. But look at this comparison in size. It is literally basically the size of the Aperture MC. If I take the battery pack off, there's literally almost no difference. It's a little bit thicker in like this, but only like an inch, maybe less than an inch. And then in like width, it's literally the same size. Really crazy how, how small and compact this is and it's able to output such a strong output. Like absolutely insane. And the battery pack, I mean, yeah, it's almost the size of the light but that's really good for actually being able to power it for so long. Easy to put on, really nice. I like it. Of course, if you have a more secure and standard location, you can power this light through USB type C if you wanna use any other batteries or you wanna just plug it into a wall. There's also a DC 24 volt port, or you can actually charge the battery pack as well through uh, USB C. So a lot of different power options and it comes with a wall adapter for the DC plug as well. So 
it is very, very versatile when it comes to power options. Let's take a quick look through all the settings that you could go through. So of course you have your HSI, your dim, your hue, your sad. You press this, it goes to RGB. You can go through all the colors and decide, hey, I want this much red, I want this much green, I want this much blue. Um, we have the effects, of course. Let's see, we got the SOS, the paparazzi, the, the bad bulb, the TV, the lightning, CCT flash, CCT pulse loop, police car. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna be using that one day on a shoot. That seems very useful. Um, moving on, we've got the like music mode. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and then um, we have the settings, CCT, and back to HSI. Pretty cool. Uh, super simple menu. We just uh, wish there was like a few more buttons that we could go through so we didn't have to cycle through it every time or if we accidentally press it because there is a little bit of delay in the menu when I press it or it takes a second to kind of switch. So just keep that in mind when purchasing something like this. Um, of course, this one adjusts the, the levels and the settings and uh, this one you can move through it and if you press it, it changes to the next menu. But honestly, besides that tiny menu flaw, there isn't much wrong with this product and it's actually really amazing how good it is. And I'm actually definitely gonna use this on things like weddings and things that I might need a portable light with not much time to set up because the amount of time it takes to set this up is literally seconds. Or if I had like a second shooter or an assistant with me, I will just have them carry it and they can just hold it for me. They can turn it on, they can, you know, I can direct them on how to use it and whatnot and where to put it. It is such an amazing tool and this is definitely something I'm going to keep in my camera bag for a rough patch because I do have lights but sometimes the setup is just too much for something super short like maybe you just need, you're at a wedding and you need to get a quick shot of the rings or something or just like a detail shot and you just need some extra light because it's not hitting the way you need it to be this will come in handy and honestly i love it i will link all the places that you can get it if you guys are interested in purchasing it let me know in the comments below what you think of it so far based on what you've seen here i'd love to know what you guys think and that's gonna be all for today's video guys a super amazing product really like amazing like it's, it's very different and like i'm super grateful that i was able to test this out Anyways, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.